Hi everybody, so it is Friday, September 25th, 2020, and I just thought I would jump on here and I would give you a little bit of an update on my cancer journey. So it was just a week ago today that I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, we think it's right here in my neck. Well, it's obviously here in my neck, but um, it, it sounds like an MRI may have picked up some activity in my chest. So we're just trying to determine which stage I'm at right now. Um, so maybe stage two they're thinking, but I have to go through all these testing in order to figure out my stage. So basically I'm doing all these different tests. So they've, they've booked me in for a breathing test, which I did yesterday. I have an echo to test my heart. I have a blood work, which I've done. I have a CT scan. And what's gonna be super important is my PET scan. So a PET scan is gonna find where the really active areas are in my body. I guess they put some sort of, I, I don't know all the information, but they put some sort of sugar through an IV, I think into my body, and then it's gonna go to the really active areas. So my head, my heart, and the cancer. So that will help determine where the cancer is and if it has spread. If it is above my diaphragm and up, then it sounds like it will be stage one or two. If it has spread below my diaphragm, which I don't think it has, then it will be stage three or four. So that will be super important. And I don't go until October 7th for my follow-up at the hospital. And then they will go over chemo with me. And I think that's when they'll decide um, my chemo cocktail, which is, I think, which kind of doses of drugs they're going to give me, as well as how many rounds of chemo I need. So in the time being, besides answering my phone every second because I get a ton of calls for appointments and stuff, I'm trying to fill out short-term disability forms. Uh, and I'm also looking into things um, to help me with the loss of my hair. So the doctor said, yeah, it's likely that I will lose my hair. And I'm just being realistic here. Who hasn't lost their hair on chemo? I don't know. I don't know anyone. Maybe you can message me if you know someone. But I'm just trying to prepare myself for that because... I think that's one of the biggest things right now that's really upsetting me. I know I have bigger things to worry about. I have to worry about my health, um, but it's my hair. Um, and so I think for women, it's such part of our identity, right? So to imagine just losing it all is crazy. Also, my hair grows really, really slow. So it's taking me years to get this length. So I've been kind of, uh, I was well, I was talking with a woman today about wigs and I looked into whether or not my um, insurance provider covers wigs and they don't they used to so I'm kind of upset about that but that's okay wigs are really expensive apparently so the woman gave me information for I, I'm assuming they're really good quality wigs this is why they're in the 500s to um, 1500 price range and then I went on Amazon and I looked in there you can buy wigs for like 24 bucks so I know that like itchiness is a factor. I know that your head might be more sensitive when you're undergoing chemo. I'm just trying to weigh, do I spend that much money? Do I just embrace baldness? Do I hope that I don't lose my hair? Or do I buy maybe like a couple of really fun, cheap ones? Um, wigs, I mean, that I can rotate through, which could be fun too. I don't really know. I'm, anyways, I was also looking at cute head caps and I'm trying to make this as fun as I can but losing my hair is not cute. Also, I have been talking to my girlfriend who is a hairdresser and she's already agreed to do like one or two really fun cuts with my hair before it just all comes off. So I'm thinking of some cute cuts to kind of, you know, go shorter and shorter. Um, try to make the best out of the situation, right? The other thing that I'm working on right now, oh yeah, is my eyebrows. Some people lose their eyebrows during chemotherapy, so I've been looking up microblading. Um, I heard that if you microblade your eyebrows before chemo, then when your eyebrows fall out, your eyebrows look the same. And apparently eyebrows are huge for your face. So if you don't have eyebrows, you look super different. So I'm considering that as an option as well. I'm considering everything as an option. So if you have any suggestions for me, please send them to me.
Um, the other thing that my doctor talked to me about was getting my teeth cleaned before I start chemotherapy. Um, he kind of mentioned that dental hygienists can be a little bit rough on your teeth. No offense if you're a dental hygienist, but just that you can get cuts and scrapes in your mouth and then your mouth is open and it's filled with bacteria so it's highly likely to become infected especially if you're on chemo so just to try to get that done so i'm on a cancellation list there i think i'm going in on monday it sounds like now so everywhere is getting me in fast which is great um and so yeah i'm just trying to to think ahead here what i need to plan for because i think um come october 7th i'm going to be starting the chemo and that's when things could get rough for me so I'm just trying to prepare for what's to come. Anyways, thanks for listening.